for the serious gamer. A little bit faster with the tactics. Hello, on. Next Gen Tactics. This is Agent Fubar <laughs> from the agency, the yeah. handguns only clan. This is Operation Across the Map. Well, well obviously, I, I get some kills from across the map, or near across the map, not like one end to the very like other, the but some long range anyway with the handguns. And finally, uh, I have my M9, so it's so nice. And the M9 yeah, is an accurate yeah. weapon, which is probably why I was able to make the hits it, look, from across the map. Yes, you and uh, you'll yeah, notice uh, my team is its a full uh, agent team, except yeah. for Senkal. Senkal, you can see there, he's from uh, NGT Elite. Um, oh. And we have a guest there. I can't remember his name, Agent Exire. Something like that, anyway. Um, but not to frown, I mean, if some of you guys were still interested in trying out for the clan, the tryouts are still going to be... Oh, here's the one shot. Was that one shot? Yeah, that was a good shot. Okay, not across a map from the heli. All right, it was a medium range shot. God, I thought it was actually a lot better than that. I'll just say almost across the map. That's what I should have called it. Let's do call it Operation Sort of Almost Kind of Across the Map. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm going to keep the same name because it's catchy. may not be completely accurate, but it's catchy nonetheless. Anyway, uh, tryouts still are going to be in late fall. I mean, essentially, this this team, this clan, and what we do here and the videos that we're going to be producing, are you know, my idea for it was really on the launch of Black Ops. I wanted something fresh, something new, other than just everyone in sniper clans and stuff because that seems to be prevalent in Modern Warfare 2 it's always and you all know what I'm talking about there I mean at least at least one of the best known sniper clans out there and I thought you know what why not create a, a clan that's that you know it's not sniper only but handguns only that's really where I came up with the idea I wanted to do uh, and create a clan that was known you know it has the same sort of publicity or, or recognition as those clans, but for handguns. You're like, oh yeah, it's the handgun clan, and then you know you're going to get owned, which is the whole point. But it's more important than owning. It's not about ego. It's not about, wow, we're amazing. It's about, you know, providing you guys with some really good videos. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that was a good shot. Come on, give me that one. That wasn't across the map, but that was a little bit longer. Again, that's the second one. Now the rest of the game is not so exciting from my perspective because I think I only get like one more kill in this whole thing. That is the problem. In all honesty, uh, playing with really highly skilled players like the rest of the agency, because these dudes, you can see them, they're all going buck wild here. My whole team's basically in their spawn area. They just hunt them down. Handguns are not, these, these boys uh, from the elite team, you know, I don't ever tell them, no, don't go chasing yeah, after them either. here, unless we're in GBs, because I know these guys yeah. will just hunt them down like little yeah. friggin' yeah. hounds of hell. They go in there, and they are not scared, and they know that they can win, and they know that they can annihilate most players. If they get a lot of resistance, then they won't. Uh, like this, I mean, come on. Seriously? These guys are animals. They just go constantly after them. Who is that? Agent... Agent Zaffel. So what's funny is Agent Zaffel, and he's actually good with the handgun. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of experience. Uh, he's got like only like an hour and something on the agency. Uh, but he is one, if you guys know him, uh, Zaffel123, he's one of our elite snipers. He's an incredible sniper, but the boy can handle his handgun, I can tell you that much. It's the same thing with Ace8444 and Ace0241. Both of them are also elite snipers, but both of them, and actually I would say um, Ace0241 arguably is uh, in, like really good with the handgun. Him and uh, Medina for Life actually did a lot of GBs, just him and uh, like it was uh, co uh, two player GBs or whatever, and uh, they would go in there with, with deagle akimbos and just annihilate people. That's all they would use. So when I mentioned to them that I was creating the agency, and that it would be, you know, handguns only. They were like, yeah, that's awesome. Kick ass. And all they've been doing is working. They're, they're all these guys. I started way before any of them. I made my account first, obviously, right? And I was playing and I was unlocking stuff. And these guys all join and they're all higher ranked than I am now. They play it. They play this account more than I do now. So it's kind of funny. And they love it. They, they think it's a lot of fun. Uh, most of them, just like probably you and me, 
get bored of Modern Warfare 2, but as soon as they start doing something like this, they're like, wow, this is a friggin' a lot of fun. It's, it's fun and it's challenging to go into games now knowing what you're up against, knowing that there's the UMPs and the SCARs and the and the thumpers and the RPGs and the um, and the noob tubes and all that stuff. You're up against and you're going to face them, right? It's reality. There's no point in whining about it anymore. Everyone knows that it's like that. So if you keep complaining, you know, stop playing because it's not going to go away. But it's it's fun to go up against that with handguns only, not using anything but handguns and owning these people. Oh no, do I die? Yes. Damn it! I got one more kill. Did I already get my one more kill? I know I get in this one uh, particular game, I go four and one. Like I said, it's friggin' hard. It's hard to get friggin' kills in these games when I, I hate playing deathmatch with these guys. I honest, honest to God, I do. These guys are running, gunning uh, machines. And handguns are not. They just annihilate the competition. They absolutely decimate them. And if I'm not quick enough, if I'm not aggressive enough, I end up with, like, hardly any kills. Like, I mean, my kill-death ratio at the end of the day is good. But, I mean, who really cares? Kill-death ratio, great. I'm 1 in 0. I have a super high kill-death ratio. Yeah, and it makes for crappy videos because I've got no kills. So sometimes I'll actually... You'll you'll notice, if I do free... Well, obviously free-for-alls. But if you see me do deathmatch... Um, other than having maybe one, maybe two other agent members with me, I typically will not uh, bring in other members because they hog all the damn kills. These boys are freaking deadly machines. So, you know, I try and uh, try and exclude them. I always say, do not join. And then they're like, hey, do you want to join or can I join? I'm like, dude, do not join. And they're going to hijack me. I'm like, I just want to get like a half decent friggin' video where you guys don't annihilate and take all my kills. There, see Agent Zaffel, he's doing his job. Magnum, he actually is very good. When he snipes, he usually has the Magnum as his uh, as his secondary. So for him, that's what I'm saying. Like when he, when he comes in, he's not one of those snipers that never uses a secondary. He's an amazing, don't get me wrong, this dude is incredibly good at quick scoping. Like I would never, I faced him a lot and he, you know, basically treats me like a child. But he is extremely good. Look at that. I mean, look at that finish. Aggressive little bastard, isn't he? Shoots him. I thought he got a knife kill here, but the knife kill came just after he killed him with that last shot. Anyway, I'm Agent Fubar. Thanks for watching another episode of The Agency from across the map. Sort of, kind of, almost. Stay tuned for more exciting footage.